I just had to make this video for a reason because with everything that's happening with Cosmic Fury, Simon Bennett leaving, Becca Barnes, Erendale are also leaving as well. And everybody else that worked on the Power Rangers television production throughout the years, they're also leaving to do some other projects that interest them. So we all know that the reboot is coming. Trust me, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But with all of this going on with the writer's strike and everybody leaving to do other things or just live their life. But I've saw something on Facebook and I don't know if it came from Becca Barnes herself because I got some opinions on her as well towards the end of the video. And it's not hate, it's just my personal opinion. So don't attack me on what I'm saying. So it says, hey folks, imagine for a second that I'm doing that teen thing, thing, whatever it just says, thing with a fork on a champagne flute speech. Oh man, I can't wait. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bad at this y'all. Hi folks, imagine for a second I'm doing a ding 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 thing with a fork on a champagne flute speech. Oh man, can we have dessert first? From writer intern to hit writer, co-producer, I've lived and breathed working in the Power Rangers story department for just shy for nine years. These photos are from 2014 with my very first Megasaur toy. And the same again today. A little older, a little wiser, and a little less space on the shelf. Cool. I keep buy well, I keep buying the same toys. <laughs> I'm endlessly proud of so many Power Ranger stories. But I'm ready for a new adventure, so. I'm getting a bunch of films and television projects into shape, some of my own and some with my uh, bonus brain, aka longtime writing partner, Orendale. We're excited to get our ideas, babies, well, idea babies into the hands of people are keen to help raise them. While those babies grown up, I'm also seeking creative work. If you're looking for someone who is never afraid to put in the hard work to make a story sing, then I can help. Whether it be screenwriting, script notes, writing rooms, story, uh, story counseling, or simply, hey, I need somebody to pitch me an idea about something, whatever it is. Okay, you can have your dessert now. I've made it through. So, there it is. So, the way she's writing this paragraph, it seems like it's pretty much a name of an era for her, right? And, um, she's been doing this for nine years, bro. Nine years. And you would have think that she would have improved throughout those years, but there's always that one problem I have with these writers. And it's the same thing with the slapstick, with the filler episodes and of how bad the show has gotten. I mean, you have some good episodes from the first season, but the second season, it just went downhill. And I just don't understand how you can go from one good season to a bad season in the second season when you're just writing nothing but filler episodes that don't make any sense. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is because I don't hate her at all. I'm just letting you know my frustrations with the show. And I know it, it can do better with new writers and new producers. Writers that know how to tell a good story. That's basically what I'm saying. So for me, Becca Barnes is not a bad human being. I think she's a nice person. But it's just her writing skills on Power Rangers have not been the best. Her and Dorindale. 
I mean, if you look at Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel, those seasons did not turn out so well. It was just a throwaway season with little to little nothing to do with ninja training, ninja thinking, ninja martial arts, unmorphed fight scenes that was supposed to be according to the cast members, but they just ruined it with slapstick comedy and it was just not Power Rangers. It was just a joke. It was an afterthought. So with all of that mess that been on from nine straight years, you know, you would have think that these people would have improved on the writing department, but it just ended up doing way worse with the slapstick comedy. Starting with Beast Morphers, then the second season happened and it just went downhill. They went woke with unnecessary crap on there. And Dino Fury, I feel like it did it right, you know, with AZ coming out as the first gay Power Ranger, you know. But the second season, they went all out, you know, with the finale. And they just, they've gotten better over time. So, like I said, in the beginning of the video, with everyone leaving from Power Rangers to work on other projects or just simply move on with their lives. I think it's safe to say that Becca Barnes and Irwin Dale have done enough of what they can do. I mean, they've done such a good job of writing good episodes on Donald Fury and Beast Morphers, but sometimes when you're writing a good story, you don't need to take two steps back in terms of writing a good episode or focus on the A plot rather than the B plot. So with the reboot coming, I think it's safe to say that they're gonna probably refresh Power Rangers, make it more mature, and just try to make things different without the Sentai. You know, just try to do your best you can to just make it work. And so I do appreciate their work. I do appreciate everything they do, what they did on the show, but sometimes you gotta just realize that sometimes what you do is not working. So that's just my honest opinion on Becca Barnes and Irwindale. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the chat and I'ma holler at you on my next one. Peace.